my whore. Welcome back. And I do want to just preface today's video uh, with the fact that I am I'm doing things a little differently than I usually do. Um, I usually do real-time commentary while I'm doing the craft. Um, but to conserve the amount of time which I actually need to be recording audio, um, I have switched to a post-commentary uh, sort of thing, which also means I am already wearing today's completed project, uh, which is this nice, cute little vintage insta inspired hairpiece here uh, that does feature some little cross stitched Tamagotchis. I'm super excited about how this turned out. It's exactly how I imagined. Uh, it's just a super cute little headpiece, uh, and I got the bug. I think I want to make more. Um, so let's go ahead and head on down to Hands Land and learn how to make this. The materials you're going to need for this project include some lace, some fabric, heat and bond, plastic canvas, a circle template, mine's one inch, some scissors, some embroidery floss, a hot glue gun, and wait, I missed some, so here's another shot where I show you that you need some buckram, an X-Acto knife, and an iron. First step is going to be to cross stitch our little Tamagotchi onto some plastic canvas. I have a much more detailed how to on cross stitching in another video which is going to be linked in the description of below along with a pattern for this particular Tamagotchi. And when you're done stitching you're going to cut out your shape and you are going to seal in the back with Mod Podge. Uh, not 100% necessary, but I like to do it. Next, we're going to take our little piece of heat and bond and we are going to trace out our circle template onto it twice because we're going to cover both sides of our buckram. And then we're just going to cut that out. Then we're going to take those two little circles of heat and bond and you're going to put them glue side down, paper side up onto the fabric. You can do both of these at once. And then you're going to cut those out. Next we're going to take our little template and our buckram and we're going to trace out our template onto the buckram just once and cut that out. And then we are going to take our little fabric circles with the heat and bond on them from before. You're going to take off the paper and glue side onto the buckram. You're going to iron one piece down on one side and one piece on the other side. And then since there's a little inconsistency, I like to just trim down the edges so that there's no buckram really showing. Uh, so because I completed one of the clips off camera before I started uh, the video at all, I actually had already measured out my lace, but you really only need about one and a half times the circumference, so you can kind of just lay it around and then cut it there. Um, but I have my piece cut out already, so you want to sew it together along the seam. And I want to point out with lace that you can tell which side is the right side by the stitching on the top. So what we're going to do is just gather this in a circle. So you sew all the way around the circle of lace and pull tight together. And then after that, we are actually going to do some additional gathering until our piece lays flat. I really fidgeted with this one for quite a while, um, but I was happy with the way it came out. Now that we have our base piece, our lace, and our little Tamagotchi, we can go ahead and hot glue all of these items together to construct our clip. 
Remember, you're going to do this for both of them. So I used embroidery floss here and what I did was I put it on a needle and I went ahead and just stabbed through that buckram and it's it's a fight uh, but you just got to try to be gentle and work it through. It will take some time but once you get it through just take a little bit and tie off and then you're gonna just string your beads. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other clip. I'm just going to go ahead and pull through. I know it's hard, just do it uh, and tie off. I was originally going to use some flat hair clips, but I didn't have any. But I did have these small combs. And a lot of these headpieces like this were originally made with combs anyway. So I just went ahead and hot glued those on there. And there you go. That's the final product. And here we are back on face cam at the end of the tutorial. If you liked today's project, if you hit that subscribe button, you'll see tons more content like this as it comes out in the future. Give me a little like so that you know this is the content you want to see more of. And um, I will see you treasures next time.